This is the wheelchair we will be working on today. This wheelchair can be controlled wirelessly from two different locations using two transmitters and one receiver. One transmitter consists of push buttons and the other one consists of magnetic hall effect sensors, which makes it a wireless tongue controlled wheelchair. Wow, that's amazing. I'm pretty excited. Okay, so before we start working on this project, first watch a preview and then I'll be back. In preview video, there is no sound because of the background noises, so sorry for that in advance. So let's watch this wheelchair in action and then we will start with the designing. Hi guys, my name is Fahad and welcome to Electronic Clinic. If this is your first time here and you want to learn Arduino programming, PLC, Little Logic programming, SCADA application designing, SOLIDWORKS, Visual Basic application designing and programming for microcontrollers to send and receive data, Android security systems, robotics, image processing, MATLAB programming and much more. Start now by subscribing and clicking the bell icon so that you never miss anything. This is going to be a very long tutorial because it consists of so many things. So step by step we cover all the things. First let's start with the whole effect sensor. For the best understanding first I will connect one sensor, cover its basics and programming. Because if I use all the four whole effect sensor at once it might be a bit confusing for the new ones. A whole effect sensor is a transducer that varies its output voltage in response to a magnetic field. Hall effect sensors are used for proximity switching, positioning, speed detection and current sensing applications. Pinouts A0 ground plus 5 volts and D0 which is a digital output. I will not be using the D0 pin of the sensor, I will be using only these three pins, the plus 5 volt, the ground and the A0. Because uh, this way I can control the sensitivity of the sensor by changing this uh, variable. So the use of A0, this is the best choice instead of using the D0. This tutorial will cover the following. Number one, the basic working concept. Number two, the hardware components which are needed. The Arduino Uno or Mega, the Holyfix sensor, a permanent magnet, some jumper wires, and of course a computer for the programming and uploading the program and the software we will be using is the Arduino IDE which is the integrated development environment and the language we will be using is a C language number two then the wiring and number three of course in the programming and finally we will be testing so let's start from the number first first one the basic working concept I will show you this through an animation so let's start. So this is how the uh, hot effect sensor works. Two magnets are installed on a rotating object. Now the number of magnets can be increased or decreased. So when the magnet comes near the uh, hot effect sensor, it changes the magnetic field. 
so that's why you can see that uh, the LED is blinking with the magnet it comes near so that's how it works this is the Holyfix sensor which has four pins A0 ground uh, plus five volts and uh, D0 as I told you earlier that we'll be using only A0 ground and plus five volts because through A0 we can change the uh, sensitivity of the uh, Holyfix sensor by using this variable resistor we can change the sensitivity and uh, now of course we also be needing uh, Arduino Uno and as you can see the wiring that I have connected the A0 the yellow wire with the analog A0 pin of the uh, uh, Arduino and the blue wire is connected with the ground and the red wire is connected with the 5 volt as you can see over here the red wire is connected with the plus 5 volts the blue wire is the ground wire and A0 is the signal wire which is connected with the analog pin A0 of the uh, Arduino you know we will also be getting a permanent magnet and of course we also need a USB cable and a laptop for programming so that's it now let's start so now let's start the programming let's uh, define some pins integer hall s is equal to a0 hall s is, is all effects sensor connected with analog pin is zero of the Arduino integer LED is equal to 13 and white setup you know that each and every Arduino program has at least two functions which are white setup and white loop so these are the two functions let's activate serial communication serial dot begin 9600 and let's use the pin mode functions pin mode hall s is input and pin mode led is output so let's keep the led and off state by default so digital right led low now that the setup has completed, now let's ri start writing the programming. Uh, let's define one variable integer integer data is equal to zero. So data is equal to analog read hall s change this one is H Hall S and serial dot print sensor data and serial dot print data first let's uh, check this one right. now let's connect the Arduino and let's upload this first okay it's selected now press we're uploading the program oh, let's use a delay delay 1000 and let's use a print ln for the new line and a semicolon and it'll upload and now let's check now it's giving us of 514 or 515 513 which is in the range of 513 to 515 when there is no magnet now now you can see the the value has changed to 452 because now there is a magnet near the sensor 
5.15 and when I take it apart from the sensor now you can see again it's back to 5.15 and when it's near it's 3.15 so now let's use F condition to turn on and uh, off if data is less than if data is less than for example 500 turn on LED digital right LED high copy paste and if data is greater than 500 keep the LED low and else delay 100 milliseconds and that's it so now, yes, now the LED is on and now it's off on and off this is the final transmitter circuit which will be used to control the wheelchair using a permanent magnet this transmitter circuit consists of four holofix sensors and a 433 megahertz radio transmitter now this holofix sensor is connected with a zero which is the analog pin of the arduino and this one is connected with a1 a2 and A3. The wiring is, is exactly the same as I explained. So in uh, over there we were using only one sensor while over here we are using four sensors. Okay and now after this uh, I will explain the uh, another transmitter circuit which consists of the buttons and then at the end we will do the complete programming for both the transmitters and the receiver. So now we will be explaining only the circuits and then I will show you how to solder and how to connect the components so this is another uh, transmitter circuit which consists of only four push buttons one two three four and this push button is connected with pin number seven this one is connected with pin number two and this one is connected with pin number eight and this one with pin number four so as you can see that one side of all the push buttons are connected with the ground and the other sides are connected with the Arduino pins and this is the same transmitter circuit so make sure both the transmitter are same and it's a data pin is connected with pin number 12 and uh, the ground with the ground and the 5 volt with the 5 volt while doing the soldering I will make a modified circuit because later I will convert this wheelchair into a hybrid wheelchair and for that I will need four more buttons so uh, the two buttons will be used for the wind turbine and the other two buttons will be used for the uh, solar panel so this is a very simple circuit diagram and I will show you the the soldering so this is the final receiver circuit diagram this is the 433 megahertz receiver this receiver will receive a commands from two transmitters so the data pin is connected with pin number 11 and the 5 volt pin is connected with the 5 volts of the arduino and similarly the ground is connected with the arduino ground okay this is the arduino and we have only two edge bridges because these two edge bridges are more than enough for controlling the wheelchair Okay, so each edge bridge consists of two relays. This is uh, relay number one. These, uh, this area is the these two are the coil pins and normally closed and normally open. And similarly for this one, so each relay is controlled by using two and two to two two transistor, which is an NPN transistor. For the best understanding, watch my uh, previous tutorials on relay driver circuit design calculations so then you will have an idea why I'm using 2 and 2222 transistor 
and what I have what I will do if uh, for example there is uh, if, if, if 2 into 2 transistor damages can I use any other transistor so you uh, will get all these answer in that tutorial so basically this is a driver circuit this trans uh, resistor transistor makes a driver circuit to control this relay so the two relays uh, I'm using two relays to control one motor which is on the right side and the other one on the left side so each motor is controlled with the help of two relays so this is edge bridge and this is also edge bridge okay now this is the battery and the battery terminal the battery positive terminal is uh, connected with the it normally open sides of both the uh, of both the relays and the ground sides are connected with a normally closed side of the relay and the common pins are connected with the motors so as you can see uh, one edge bridge is connected with pin number seven and pin number eight and the other one is connected with pin number three and pin number two so watch my tutorial on edge bridge designing uh, where i've also explained this uh, through a proteus uh, and um, so that will really help you so the things you'll be needing for this are push buttons as you can see these are simple push buttons in a couple of minutes i will start the soldering okay so this is the remote control i'll be using for controlling this button will be used for the forward movement and this one for the right and this one for the lift and this one for the stop and this one for the solar panel activation and this one for the wind turbine activation and obviously this will be used for the off we will also be needing an Arduino you know and a radio transmitter which is for 33 megahertz and uh, this is the receiver so first we will make the uh, remote controller and then after that we will be making the receiver circuit so let's start the soldering Okay, now that all the buttons are soldered, and now we will start the connections. So now as you can see, one side of all the buttons are connected with ground. So let's confirm that the DMM is already set on the continuity. So just connect one here. 
this is the ground wire and as you can see so one side of all the buttons are connected with the ground and now let's solder the other wires which will be connected with the Arduino so let's start this soldering okay now the remaining wires are soldered and let's confirm this is the ground wire and connecting with this one and you can hear the beep sound so the button is working let's check this one it's working yeah it's also working and now let's check this one this one I've already checked all the wirings and it's working just fine so we are done with the wiring and now we will start the interfacing But let's first connect the radio transmitter. We will need three wires. Connect v VCC. This is the VCC. The green one is the ground. And the yellow one is the data. Now we will connect these two modules with the Arduino board. And once I'm done with the interfacing, I'll be back. So these are the four Holyfix sensors interfaced with the Arduino. And the connections are A spur to circuit diagram, which I already explained. And you can see it's connected with A1, A2, A3, and A4. Okay. So this is the, the transmitter and I skipped the soldering part for the Hall effect sensors because there is very less soldering because I'm just soldering three wires, the five volts, the signal and the ground. So this is the same circuit which I used for controlling the wheelchair. And now this is the transmitter which I, I was using for controlling the wheelchair and now this one is the latest one which i modified now if you check both the circuits these are exactly the same the only difference is that that in, in in this one i added two more buttons so which will make the wheelchair a hybrid so the same transmitter and arduino you know and the all the connections are exactly the same just addition of two buttons okay and these are the two edge bridges edge bridge number one and two the one edge bridge will be used for controlling the left motor and this one will be used for controlling the right motor and this is the receiver circuit and again the all the connections are a per circuit diagram which I have already explained and in this the receiver circuit there is only one addition that is that these two relays are used for charging the battery from solar panel and the wind turbine. So let me compare this circuit with the one which is already installed in the wheelchair. So now, as you can see, there is one edge bridge and there's another one, and this is just the supply, and there's nothing. As you can see, only two edge bridges, the receiver and the Arduino, you know. And over here, I'm also using two edge bridges, a receiver and Arena you know. Pins are exactly the same. Over here, uh, the motor will be connected. The only difference is that, that the motor will be connected with these two terminal blocks. This is number one and this is number two. So the motor wires will be connected right here. While in this circuit, the motor wires are directly connected with the edge bridge. So as you can see, this one 
and these wire which are directly connected. So this is the modified version of this circuit because it has an extra functionality that is charging from the solar panel and from the wind turbine. Okay, so now I will power up the circuits and I will show you these circuits in, in action. So I have connected a 12 volt supply over here and 12 volt over here and you can see the microcontroller is running and the transmitter circuit is already connected. So let's first check this one. And you can hear the tech sound. This is working. Okay, now let me connect that another transmitter. So okay, now I've connected the another one and this is the same circuit. So as you can see, so these are exactly the same, these are exactly the same circuit, but that one is only the modified one. So now let me check this one. Okay, now the audio is on and all the sensors are activated. So here is a permanent magnet. And now you can see, okay, from here. So this is for the forward and this is for the stop. Left and right. So it's working perfectly. So this is how we can control a wheelchair using this remote controller which consists of the push buttons and using the whole fixed sensors so this is the transmitter code and let's start with the h include virtual wire dot h so before you start programming first make sure that you have downloaded the virtual wire library and pasted it into the arduino folder like that i've already downloaded it go to the folder libraries and check over here the virtual wire over here you can simply download this from the github and uh, then paste it over here okay so the hash include is a prop preprocessor directive and a constant teacher LED pin equal to 11 you're just defining pins and constant teacher transmit pin which is 12 which I already showed this and the uh, circuit diagram and the constant teacher transmit pin en pin equal to three so uh, for now just ignore these two instructions we are not using it and integer button seven and as we have four buttons in the transmitter circuit so one button is connected with pin number seven eight two and four and these are the names button button one button two and button four so now here is the white set of function now the white means that this function is not returning any value and uh, as you can see that the parentheses are empty so it's not taking any arguments as input now this is also a function and you can see there is a variable transmit pin so it means that this function is taking one argument and that is the transmit pin which is already defined over here and that is pin number 12 so if you want you can change that number so VW is for the virtual wire set TX pin, which is the TX pin and pin mode button input. As we know that all the buttons are the input devices. So the button, these are as set as input and then VW setup, which is 2000 bits per second and we on the uh, wireless communication. Okay, and the by uh, byte count equal to one. I'm not using this. Uh, okay, so a wide loop. Now this is a wide loop and uh, this is also not returning any value and it's not taking any arguments as input and uh, the wide set of function executes only one time and the wide loop uh, runs like infinite times. Corrector MSG, MSG1, MSG2, MSG3 and MSG8 these are the arrays and these are used to store 
H, J, L, M, Z, and these are the commands that we send to the receiver when we press a button. If digital read button equal to equal to zero, so if you remember, and, and the circuit designing explained that uh, that that one side of every button is connected with the ground. So that's why over here we are looking for zero. So when button is pressed, it will give zero to the microcontroller and it will read zero. So when it reads zero, it means that that button is pressed. So if digital read button equal to equal to zero, so check if button is pressed. So what it will do, it will send uh, number one and at, one pl at location number one, you can see there is H. So it will send H to the receiver. VW wait TX wait until the whole message is gone and then there is a delay 1000 milliseconds which is equal to one second and you can see the rest of the code is exactly the same just only the 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 areas names are different so this is MSG1 so when this button is pressed then uh, MSG1 then J will be sent and when MSG2 so the MSG2 we have L and then M and then Z so the rest of the code is, is, is exactly the same okay so now let's see another code having the whole fix sensors and this is the programming of the transmitter circuit having whole effect sensors uh, th they start with the same blind hash include virtual wire dot h which i already explained and these are the same pins and uh, msg and the same arrays and uh, now over here we are using four high fix sensor instead of the buttons so that is integer sensor number one equal to a0 which is for the straight and this one is for the right and this one is for the left and stop so a0 a1 a2 and a3 and sensor number one two three and four are the names you can also change the names and variables for the sensors as uh, these are the analog sensors and we will be storing its data so the, the variables are integer s data one which is the sensor number one data and sensor number two data sensor number three and sensor number four and white setup serial dot begin 9600 and 9600 is a baud rate uh, if, uh, in case you want to uh, monitor values on the serial monitor so and uh, this is the same and pin mode sensor these are the input devices and VW setup 2000 bits which is exactly the same and then the white loop starts and over here uh, we are using these variables reading the sensors and storing its values and its variables and then we are printing that data onto the serial monitor if you want to check that you can and then after that there we were using the digital read command and now over here we are using the f is data one is less than 500 and if you remember in the, in the beginning when i was uh, covering the basics of the holific sensor or there i use the same instruction like the uh, if it was then 500 and greater than 500 so if s data less than 500 then send msg and what value is stored in msg that is h so in the two transmitter programming there's a difference of only this we are reading over here the values so this 500 as you can see on the screen this value has changed when we bring a magnet near the sensor so the magnetic field is changed so this is uh, exactly the same like you can see we are repeating the code and okay so there's nothing complex okay now we will uh, study the receiver code so this is the receiver code and it also starts with the same line Haitian code virtual wire dart H and then constant integer LED pin equals to 13 and the integer right motor 1 is equal to 2 this is the right side uh, motor and right motor 2 is equal to 3 which is the left side motor now now 2 and 3 means uh, as I explained in the circuit that every edge bridge has two relays 
and each relay is controlled using a relay driver circuit so each edge bridge has two wires the one wire is used for controlling the one relay and the other wire is used for controlling the other one so these are these these are two wires pin number two and pin number three and for the left motor it has also two wires and two relays so th those two relays are connected with pin number seven and eight of the Arduino and constant digit receive pin 11 <coughs> sorry then white setup delay 1000 and uh, serial dot begin 9600 uh, this is for debugging uh, debugging only if you want to check values on the serial monitor uh, when you check the communication between a transmitter and the receiver to confirm that whether you are receiving the characters or not so vw set rx and that is the rx pin and uh, uh, true uh, start communication and uh, then pin mode wide <coughs> unsigned integer vw virtual wire maximum message length this is the maximum maximum message length and unsigned integer 8 this is the buffer length if vw get message buffer length and buffer length so integer i so it means like this this code means that uh, the message which is received uh, and then we use uh, the over here the for loop to read the entire message so for i equal to zero as less than the buffer length and i plus plus so character c equals to buffer i so it will store that value in c and then over here we use a condition f c equals to equals to z so check f we have received the z then what to do we are using z for turning off both the motors so both the motors are turned off and if c is equal to j which is for the right side and then these instructions will be executed digital right right motor wire one will be low and the digital right right motor wire two will also be low and digital right led pin is low and the digital right wire left motor one is high so it will activate the left motor so when the left motor executed is activated it will automatically change its direction towards the right side so and h is for the straight so as you can see over here over here we are turning on this motor and the left motor both has the same direction so it will be moving straight and for the left side which is the inverse of the right side so over here this one is on and m is nothing just a uh, garbage value and that's it it's a simple program nothing complex so if you like my video subscribe to my channel like and share my videos with your friends and if you have any suggestion please leave a comment and thanks for watching